One aspect that is very interesting and in this Congress are some uh, very robust data that we are getting on patients with Richter transformation. So the most aggressive form of CLL a transformation towards an aggressive lymphoma, um, which uh, is always a huge clinical challenge and is associated with a substantially shorter survival than what we see in, in the general patient population with CLL. And uh, so we uh, saw two oral presentations, or one uh, using uh, bispecific uh, glofitavab in patients who have Richter transformation, a small cohort with just 11 patients, but we do see um, a clear efficacy signal in this patient population, albeit the efficacy so far does not seem to be very sustained as a monotherapy, but certainly an agent that is um, uh, very promising as a combination partner with other agents. And then we had um, the readout from a very interesting investigator initiated study um, from Italy and Switzerland where um, a PD-L1 inhibitor, atezolizumab, was combined with venetoclax, a BCL2 inhibitor, and um, as a third agent, obinutuzumab, a CD20 antibody. And in that study, they reported um, high overall response rates for over 60% in these patients who had Richter transformation. Um, again, a limited sample size, 28 patients or so that were um, uh, reported in that study, but still uh, 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 a decent prospective cohort of patients with this aggressive disease um, and they see therefore that you get a good FC efficacy signal, potentially more than what we've seen in the past with chemo monotherapy in this setting. So again, another um, data set that um, is quite promising and, and gives us hope that we might be able to really um, improve the prognosis of patients with trans Richter's transformation.